Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania sends shocking video message after what happened to her in Europe. Although the liberals in Europe just couldn't help themselves, our first lady Melania Trump fired back at them with kindness and gratitude. After last week's overseas trip where the first family ran into protest after protest against who knows what, chicks on the right are reporting that Melania Trump thanked Belgium, the United Kingdom, and Finland, for its warm hospitality and welcoming nature. Belgium, UK, Finland thank you for your warm hospitality. The First Lady wrote on Instagram on the gorgeous behind-the-scenes clip she shared Tuesday which highlighted her various stops during the trip. All through the video posted above. You get to see part of the concert she attended at the Queen Elizabeth Music Chapel in Waterloo, Belgium, along with the spouses of other world leaders as President Trump met with the world leaders during the first day of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, summit. In one part of the video, you can see her making poppies with the children at the Royal Chelsea Hospital in London. Continued by a great recap of the stunning outfits she wore during the visit one of which included the off-the-shoulder yellow chiffon gown by Jay Mendel that the First Lady wore to a gala dinner alongside Trump at the Blenheim Palace in England with British Prime Minister Theresa May and her husband, Philip May. Thank you, Royal Hospital Chelsea, for the warm welcome. I enjoyed my tour of the Wren Chapel and Great Hall and MTG your lovely pensioners. Speaking with children from George's primary school to discuss their program Be the Best You Can Be was such a treat, and I had much fun in my first Bulls match. Hashtag be best, Flotus captioned one of her posts from the trip after meeting the veterans and kids. A great visit in Belgium. Proud to represent the U.S. at the spousal program during at NATO. Thank you to our host Belgium, at USM Brussels, at Music Chapel and at NATO for a wonderful program. These opportunities are important to building lasting relationships with our foreign allies, she captioned an earlier post from the stop in Belgium. Every time I see posts like this I get giddy. After having to have to endure eight long years of having a first family like the Obamas you just can't help but smile when you see posts like these. We went from crass to class overnight, just because the media and the amoral majority in pop culture guilted the American people into voting for an empty suit just because of his skin color. Here is more on the First Lady via the White House. First Lady of the United States Melania Trump is the wife of President Donald J. Trump and the mother of Barron Trump. She is the second First Lady born outside of the United States and she is the only First Lady to become a naturalized U.S. citizen. And like the First Ladies before her, Melania Trump will make her mark on history. Melania Trump was born on April 26, 1970 in Slovenia. At age 16, she began what would soon become a highly successful modeling career, appearing in many high-profile ad campaigns and working with some of the best photographers in the fashion industry. In 1996, Mrs. Trump moved to New York and 10 years later, she proudly became a United States citizen. Mrs. Trump has always been an active member of her community. In 2005, she was honorary chairwoman for the Martha Graham Dance Company. That same year, she was awarded Goodwill Ambassador by the American Red Cross, a role she served in for four years. Mrs. Trump served five years as honorary chairwoman for the Boys Club of New York and was named Woman of the Year in 2006 by the Police Athletic League. Mrs. Trump has participated in National Love Our Children Day and National Child Abuse Prevention Month, ringing the closing bell at NASDAQ. In 2010, Mrs. Trump was the chairwoman for the American Heart Association, which raised $1.7 million for research. That same year she launched her own jewelry collection. While Melania Trump became a household name in modeling and a contributing member of her community, she is first and foremost a mother and wife, and in 2017, Melania Trump made the White House and Washington home for her family. In her role as First Lady, Mrs. Trump focuses her time on the many issues affecting children. An unwavering characteristic of the First Lady is her aptitude for showing love and compassion in all that she does. Mrs. Trump spends much of her time meeting with children who are patients at hospitals and care centers. Recently, she took Valentine's to the Children's and at the National Institutes of Health in Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Over the Easter holiday, she made a surprise visit to St. Mary's Medical Center in Palm Beach, Florida, bringing Easter baskets to the children. Following the devastating hurricanes last year, Mrs. Trump visited Texas to meet with families that suffered greatly under Hurricane Harvey. In the wake of two horrendous mass shootings, Mrs. Trump traveled with her husband to Las Vegas and Parkland to be with the victims and families in their times of need. Internationally, Mrs. Trump has visited several hospitals and schools. 
one of her most memorable visits being at the pediatric hospital Bambino Gesù in the Vatican City, where she met a boy who had been waiting for a new heart. Upon arrival in Belgium the following day, Mrs. Trump learned that the hospital had found a transplant for the boy Mrs. Trump celebrated the news in a press statement and said my own heart is filled with joy over the news. As First Lady, Mrs. Trump has made multiple visits to schools, both foreign and domestic. From participating in a Viking huddle class, which focuses on emotional learning at Orchard Lake Middle School in Michigan, to taking the Queen of Jordan to Washington, D.C.'s first public charter school for girls at Excel Academy in Southeast, Mrs. Trump is always bringing children to the forefront of her agenda. While traveling abroad, Mrs. Trump visited the American International School in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, with Education Minister Ahmed al Issa and took a calligraphy lesson with local children at Kiyobashi Tsukiji Elementary School with Mrs. Abe while visiting Japan. Earlier this spring, Mrs. Trump invited a group of local students to the White House so she could talk with them, hear their stories, and understand the issues they are challenged with today. Mrs. Trump addresses those issues each opportunity she gets. From Governor's Spouse's luncheons to the United Nations General Assembly, Mrs. Trump puts the emphasis on children and how we can protect them, teach them, and empower them. In the midst of the opioid epidemic, Mrs. Trump has utilized her platform as First Lady to raise awareness about the dangers of opioid abuse, notably the devastating effects it has on infants and unborn babies. Mrs. Trump traveled to Huntington, West Virginia, where she visited Lily's Place, the nation's first non-profit infant recovery center that prioritizes the whole family to ensure infants born dependent on drugs are given the best opportunity to thrive. More recently, in February. Mrs. Trump traveled to Ohio to visit Cincinnati Children's, a leading pediatric hospital where she learned more about the ongoing research around neonatal abstinence syndrome, NASA harmful result of drug abuse in pregnant mothers. Mrs. Trump has participated in multiple opioid summits and continues to work with the administration on raising the awareness of opioid abuse and how we can better protect children from it. On May 7, Mrs. Trump launched Be Best, an awareness campaign focused entirely around the well-being of children. The campaign has three pillars, which represent key areas of concern for Mrs. Trump, well-being, which includes the social and emotional health of children, social media, and understanding both the positive and negative effects it has on our children, and opioid abuse, and how to protect our most vulnerable from the effects of drug abuse while educating parents about the detrimental effects of opioids. After the launch, the First Lady is dedicated to carrying out her Be Best campaign. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.